Hey, I'm fashion stylist Francesca Mills, and I'm here today at Party in the Park with some of Boston's biggest philanthropists and park supporters. What a beautiful day we have for this event. It's time to go check out some of the awesome hats that I've seen so far and be a lady who lunches, so let's go do that. Boston's best dressed ladies who lunch were out in full force at this year's Party in the Park this late spring afternoon. Widely considered Boston's must attend event, the party in the park happens under a grand tent on the banks of Jamaica Pond to raise funds for the Emerald Necklace Conservancy. This is one of the premier events where women come out dressed to the nines and get to wear these fabulous hats. It's my favorite thing to do is getting dressed up, so this is like such a great day for me. But I just wanted to ask you about your hat in particular because it's so amazing. It has all of the things that I love. It has roses, it has feathers, it has this beautiful net in front. Who makes it? So this is Louise Green for Salma Gundy, and Salma Gundy is an amazing hatter located in JP. They actually did this custom to match my outfit from All Too Human, and they did an amazing job. They looked at the outfit and kind of told the milliner, Louise Green, what they were looking for, and she put everything together custom. So it really just matches the outfit perfectly because of that. Held each spring since 2005, the annual Party in the Park fundraiser attracts more than 750 fabulously frocked ladies and a few daring gents who mingle over bites and bubbly, flaunting their most elegant headgear at this stylish afternoon soiree. The men need to bring their A-game to this thing because the women, you know, they blow it out of the water, so we need to, like, step it up. Yolanda, you are a fashion icon of Boston. Tell us what was your inspiration for your well, I usually love white, and I, that's one of the reasons, but my daughter Sandra, who has her own television show, designed and made the hat and the dress, and she said, you can't go unless I design it. So tell me about your hat. It looks, it's, I, oh my gosh, LED lights. I didn't even see <laughs> So it's three Viva Delfina crowns. A butterfly is lit up with LEDs. They're all kind of wired together this morning. The Emerald Necklace Conservancy protects, restores, maintains, and promotes the 1,100 acres of meadows, woodlands, and paths of the Frederick Law Olmsted designed Emerald Necklace Park System that serves as a respite from the city for one million citizens and tourists each year. The Emerald Necklace Conservancy and the monies from this luncheon will go to help maintain the pathways, the buildings that you see along the necklace, as well as to maintain the trees that you see from Franklin Park all the way to the Boston Common. We want to tip our hats off to all the ladies who came out today, and especially to the Emerald Necklace Conservancy for all of the great work you're doing for the parks of Boston. We had so much fun being ladies who lunched and seeing all of the amazing hats, dresses, makeup. It was such a great fashion moment today. Reporting live for Dirty Water TV, I'm Francesca Mills. And I'm Tanya Mesrick.